Hi friends, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I am sharing to you the details of Xerox Work Center 3025 model printer. This model is exclusive to black printing purpose. It has print, scan, copy functions with built-in Wi-Fi connectivity. It is one of the best black 3-in-1 laser printer from Xerox brand. If you are a new viewer of this channel, like and subscribe this channel and click on the bell button to receive notification of new uploaded videos. The highly productive Xerox Work Center 3025 multifunction printer consolidates multiple office critical functions into one device with printing, copying and scanning. It is the ideal monochrome multifunction printer for individuals or small work teams. The Work Center 3025 with one of the smallest footprints in its class saves space and reduces energy consumption and supply costs by consolidation of multiple office device functions. This printer is compatible with almost all kinds of operating system, include Windows, Mac and Linux. About print speed of this printer, maximum up to 20 pages per minute and resolution 600 into 600 dpi. This is the input paper tray of this printer. Maximum has 150 sheets capacity of this tray. It supports different size and types of paper like plain paper, thick paper, thin paper, bond paper, cardstock, envelopes, labels, preprint card, recycled card, etc. The paper size can adjust with using this paper width guides. 63 gram to 163 gram weight medias are supported on this printer. Up to a 4 size can support in this printer. So you can adjust the paper size with paper width guides. Total weight of this printer is 7.5 kilogram only and dimensions are width 40.6 cm, depth 36 cm and height 25.7 cm. This is the output paper tray of this printer. Maxima has 100 sheets capacity of this tray. We just need to open this tray extended. It will hold the paper after the printing. The type of paper and the amount of ink you are using affect output tray capacity. Company recommends emptying the output tray frequently. Next, lift this lid, this flatbed glass area for scan and photocopy purpose. It supports different size and types of media for scan and copy purpose. Original documents should be arranged from this corner for scan and photocopy purpose. Supported paper sizes are given on these both sides, so you can arrange paper accordingly. This is the control panel buttons of this printer. The control panel consists of a display, a keypad and buttons you press to control the functions available on the printer. This is power button and this is power save button. Red is stop button, blue is photocopy button and many options are there. Copy and scan activates button, photocopy reduce and enlarge options etc. The power button is located on the control panel. The power cable socket is located at the rear of the printer. Connect the AC power cord to the machine and a power outlet. The power cord must be plugged into a grounded power socket. This is the USB data cable port for connect to computer for printing and scanning purpose. Next, let's see where is the toner carriage and how to replace or remove the toner carriage from this printer. First, lift the top cover of the machine from under the control panel. Then, pull up to release the inside cover. Toner carriage is there. Company name and toner carriage number is mentioned on the toner carriage. When you remove the toner carriage, do not touch the green underside of the print carriage. Use the handle on the carriage to avoid touching this area. Pull out the toner carriage like this. When the toner carriage is near the end of its life, white streaks on prints or lights printing occur. The low toner indicators appear on the UI if the low toner alert feature was enabled. If other conditions occur, you can temporarily improve print quality by redistributing the remaining toner in the carriage. In some cases, white streaks or light printing will still occur even after you have redistributed the toner. This is the new toner carriage of this printer. Carriage number and supported printer models are mentioned on this cartoon. Carriage number is 106R02773 is given here. From the new toner carriage of this printer, 
will get approximate 1500 prints. Remove the new toner carriage from its packaging as directed by the packaging labels. Do not touch the green underside of the toner carriage. Use the handle on the carriage to avoid touching this area. Before insert the toner, slowly shake the carriage 5 or 6 times to distribute the toner evenly inside the carriage. Please note, if toner gets on your clothing, wipe it off with a dry cloth and wash clothing in cold water. Hot water sets toner into fabric. Hold the toner carriage by the handle and slowly insert the carriage into the opening in the machine. Tabs on the sides of the carriage and corresponding grooves within the machine will get the carriage into the correct position until it locks it into place. Close the inside top panel, then close the top cover. When the machine status light is solid green, the machine is ready to use. Next, how to check this printer working or not? First, connect the power cable in the socket from the back side of the printer, then press on the power button. Cannot take print from computer without installing printer driver. So, let's take a photocopy and check the printer working or not. Printer warming up now. Open the input paper tray and fill some blank A4 paper for take a photocopy. Before loading paper into the tray, flex or fan the edge of the paper stack. This procedure separates uh, any sheets of paper that the stack together and reduces the possibility of paper jams. For the photocopy purpose, first press this button. Then select other photocopy options from menu list with use up and down arrows. After then press the start button. Use the up and down arrows on the control panel to enter the number of copies required. The number entered is displayed in the lower right hand corner of the display. With this option, we can take up to 99 copies at the same time. Select the number of copies we need with the up and down buttons and press the start button. Please note, to cancel an incorrect entry, press clear all button and enter the correct quantity. Next, let's see how to take a photocopy of this photo. First, this photo places on the glass face us down. Paper should be arranged from this side. After then, close the lid. Now, I selected the quantity 1. After then press the start button, wait few seconds, photocopy speed up to 20 copies per minute. See, got it as black copy from that color photo. Next, let's see how to resize a photocopy from original document. On this printer, you can easily make a photocopy of the original file size large or small. We can do this by the reduce or enlarge options from the menu list. If you want to reduce the original size, select the 25 percentage or 50 percentage option from this menu list. After then, press the start button. And to increase the original size, select the 200 percentage or 400 percentage options from this menu list. After then, press the start button. Many options are here. You can also easily access advanced settings such as changing the paper type and size, adjusting the darkness of the copy and resizing the copy. Now I select the 25 percentage of the original size, after then press the start button. Wait few seconds. See, this is the output. Look. This is the size of the 25 percentage of original size. Next, select the 50 percentage of the original size. See, 50 percentage. After then, press the start button. Wait a few seconds. See, this is the 50 percentage of the original size. To convert a document or picture into digital form for storage or processing on a computer by scanning it using a scanner. We can save the scan file with different formats like PDF, JPG, TIF, etc. Scanning resolution is 1200 into 1200 dpi. The scan feature enables users to create a digital version of a hard copy document 
which can be sent to a computer or the network or through a USB connection. The document can be scanned in color, grayscale or black and white and the digital file can be then be sent to a specified destination. This video winding up now. If you have any doubts or need to know anything more, you can comment on this video. See you on next video. Thanks friends. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.